got his pirate shirt on because we're going to race some boats today hopefully we're going to try to find a spot we're going to do it somewhere somewhere we're out here at the camp on elbow pond and we just got up we had our coffee thanks to jefferson state gold we have a nice coleman coffee maker now um, but before we head out we better check with the hip v and make sure the weather is going to be uh good today let's check it's too early. This is no time for a bee. I haven't even had my honey yet. You want me to do the weather? All right, here we go. The weather's going to be 72 beautiful degrees. Nice day to stick your nose in a flower. You guys, stay safe out on the river. Don't fall down and don't get arrested. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. Thank you, hippie that great weather report now we're gonna go out and get a breakfast let's go Landaff Town Hall in the beautiful little town of Landaff, New Hampshire. And we stopped at the Twin River Campground <clears throat> and we picked up some prizes. Why don't you tell us what we got here? Well, third place prize. These are the prizes for the pirate ship races, right? Yeah. Okay. Strike it rich, pay dirt. Comes with gemstones and minerals. This is for second and third place where we receive a bag of that. Uh huh. And here's a brochure that can show you what you can win in that or find. All right. That comes with one of them, right? Yep. They'll also receive. This is for second and third place. A nice embroidered shirt from Twin Rivers Campground. Wow. Panning for gold. Look at that. What size is that? Extra large. All right. I think that'll fit just about anyone. Yeah. Look at that nice embroidery. Yeah. Second and third place, we'll each receive one of these. Wow. Also, this nice decal. Oh, look at that. That's great. Heading for gold, Twin River Campground. All right. 
and they'll also get a $50 gift card. Oh, a fifth and a $50 gift card to the hippie. Got second and third place. Now, first place winner is going to get this huge bag. Wow. Of pay dirt. This wow. isn't gold bearing pay dirt, it's gem and mineral bearing pay dirt. It's got all sorts of things in yeah. it. Yeah. Wow. And that will come with the flyer which shows you what types are in there. Mm -hmm. Also, first place winner gets this awesome mug. Look at that. And that's like etched. It's real deep etched into that. Yeah, it's like laser etched or something. That's, that's awesome. Great. Yeah. Also, I wanted one of them too. Not for you. First place also gets this extra lodge yeah. panning for gold, Twin River Campground, Bath, New Hampshire. Oh, look at that. That's fantastic. And this is, these come from a, the famous prospecting shop up here. Twin River yeah. Campground Prospecting Shop. And they're also going to, first place winner's going to also get a $75 gift card to thehippie.com. And a $75 gift card to thehippie.com. And they also get one of the stickers. Yeah. And how many uh, pirate ships are in the race? 34. So we're going to be having three preliminary heats. And the top two of each heat will make it into the finals. And yeah. there'll be six boats in the final. And half of them are going to win prizes. Yeah. So let's get down and find a spot uh, and, and uh, race some pirate chips. Here we are out on Mill Brook. We made it out on the river. And this looks like a great river for a pirate ship race. We're gonna have a great race here. Well, I got the finish line set up over there and we are ready to go. Well, hello, man. <laughs> We're gonna, uh, we got the finish line. We got a camera angle over there. We've got a camera set up over there. We'll have four points of view. Arr. We are go we are going to be doing some prospecting, uh, but we're going to take care of the race first. I've got my sluice box here. We're outside of the White Mountain National Forest, so uh, we're going to sluice. We found gold here before, so um, I'm looking forward to that too. Should be a great day. Looks like it's a nice day. So let's um, take a look at the contestants for the first heat. Well, uh, let me uh, swing us around here. Um, let's go over that one more time so you know there's going to be three heats of 12. What is it? 12, 12, and... 11, 11, 12. 11, 11, and 12. The top two in each heat will make it into the finals. And the finals will be six boats, and there'll be a first, second, and third prize. So let's show you the contestants for the first heat. Boat number one, Joe Cal Tudell. Ship number two, Christopher Michaud. Number three, Holly Navity. Number four, Ray 603 Prospecting. Number five, Hope Christy Aubin, number six, Hans L. Holm, number seven, Paul L., number eight, Link to Gain, number nine, Joey Much, number ten, Adventurous Dan, and number eleven, Morris Rush. Isn't this exciting? <laughs> This is the big race. Let me show you the course. We're going to put them in up here into this pool, probably right over there in the current. And they're going to come down in this current and they have to go over the raging rapids. Oh, look at that. We have a camera set up right in front of the rapids. Right there. Then they're going to come down through this 
flat water section. They're going to have to choose a side of the big boulder to go on. It's a little more tricky on the other side, and it's wide open over here. And here's the finish line. We're going to have a camera set up right on the line. And it should be a really challenging race. We don't know what's going to happen, so let's see. Good luck to everyone. Good luck. All right. You ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. All the boats are in there. I'm going to get them out into the current. Here we go, the moment of truth. There they go. They're moving fast. Who's in the lead? Number three. It's a tough race. Christopher Michaud and number 10. Number 10 is first. Christopher Michaud is second. Okay, the, it went faster than we thought. I had to Real chase fast. them down. They almost got by me. Um, so it's a fast race. And uh, Christopher Michaud yeah, we can show them. I got the Adventurous Dan, which was number 10. And Christopher Michaud, number two. They're making it into the finals. So congratulations to them. Uh, let's take a look at the contestants for heat number two. Number 12, David Pillsbury. Number 13, Eric Nicolay. Number 14, Donald Seema. 15, Outdoor Wally. 16, Julie. 17, Richard Burbank. 18, Bobby Cheeseman. 19, Rat River Vintage. 20, Adventure is Life. 21, AU Guys Prospecting. 22, Gordon McKay and 23 Brian Tyrion. All right, here we go. There's the boats. I'm going in. Wow, it's deep out here. Oh, we almost fell in. Almost. Wow, he's a slick. Yeah. All right, let's try it again. Here we go. Be number two. They're going in. There they go. And they're and off. And they're off. I see Julie out in front. I got to get to the finish line. They are moving fast again. They're coming down. Oh, these are moving great. Who do we number got? Number 12. Donald Seaman over here. Bobby G. In. Number 12. Looks like it's going to be number 12. As long as he doesn't get stuck. Oh no. Looks like it's going to be number 22. And then over there, whoever that is. that didn't cross the finish line. Rat River Vintage, number 19. That was crazier than the first one. It, it's a good thing we have some stationary cameras because I got to run to the finish line and they come so fast, I don't want them to get by because we lose them to go down a river. So here's the two winners of the second heat. Richard Burbank was way on the inside, close to the bank. Number 17. He, number 17, he came in second in this race, and 
Number 22 came in first. That was Gordon McKay. So you two have made the finals. We have one more heat before the finals. And here are the contestants for the final heat. 24, Nutmeg Prospectors. I'm 25, Paul Robichard. 26, Bob Dean. 27, Heidi and Conan Prospecting. 28, Chris Potter. 29, Ricky Englehart. 30, Mark Kanowski. 31, Lisa Pira. 32, Larry J. McDaniel. 33, Rusty Navity. 34, Jade Englehart. Okay, we're getting ready for the final heat. He's upstream. Ready when you are. All right, here we go. Here they go. They're going in. There they go. They're all off. Oh, here they come. They're doing the rapids. They move so fast. These ships are something. They're coming fast. I can't tell yet. I see number 31 out in the lead. Who's that on their side? Coming down, Larry. McDaniel on his side, as long as he doesn't get stuck. He's going in. Oh, is he going to get stuck? He did. And Jane Engelhardt, number 34. Number Heidi and Conan is number two. Okay, that last race was hectic. Our nerves were all shook wow. up, chasing boats. But here are the two uh, that won the last race. Jade Englehart, number 34, she snuck in because some people got stuck on the rocks. And sneaking uh, in, number 27, Heidi and Conan. It was an exciting finish. It, it could have been anybody. Uh, it's hard to, to film it because there's just so much going on. But this last heat, there's only six boats. And we're ready for the final heat and to get the winners. And, the, and here are the contestants. All right, we're ready for the final heat. There are six contestants, and three of these are going to be winners. The first contestant, number two, Christopher Mashad. Number 10, Adventurous Dan. Number 17, Richard Burbank. Number 22, Gordon McKay. Number 27, Heidi and Conan Prospecting. And number 34, Jade Anglehart. Okay, Tom is up there getting ready for the final heat. Arr! And here we go. There's six boats. There's going to be three winners. First, second, and third place. And there they go. He throws them way out there. They're taking an inside route. Looks like one is getting stuck back there, but they're, they're doing good. Here they come. Can you tell who it is? They're coming, they're coming. Who is it? Christopher Michaud is in first place. Number two, followed by Jade Englehart. And then Gordon McKay and... Here it comes. Number two is in the lead as long as she doesn't get... Right there, Christopher Michaud takes first place. Christopher Mashaw takes first place. It's a battle for second. Burbank coming along the shore gets stuck. Another one getting stuck. There's two stuck in an eddy. Number 27. And Gordon McKay and Heidi and Conan. Yeah, Heidi and Conan race three. Here they come. Heidi and Conan comes in second place. And third. Gordon McKay, as long as he doesn't get stuck. Oh, he got stuck. He's fighting it on the inside. Oh, he's fighting it. Oh, no, it's going to be close. 
Chris Dad comes in and passes him right at the finish line. Oh, and Gordon McKay gets stuck right there. Look at the finish line. He's right there. The adventurous Dan came in and passed him. What an exciting race. Burbank, coming along the shore, gets stuck. Another one getting stuck. There's two stuck in an eddy, number 27. And Gordon McKay and Heidi and Conan. Heidi and Conan breaks free. Here they come. Heidi and Conan comes in second place. And third, Gordon McKay, as long as he doesn't get stuck. Oh, he got stuck. He's fighting it on the inside. Oh, he's fighting it. Oh, no, it's going to be close. Adventurous Dan comes in and passes him right at the finish line. Oh. What an exciting race. Wow. Oh, and I, I can't believe uh, Adventurous Dan snuck in there right at the very end uh, and uh, got that third spot, the final spot. Who came in first? It was uh, Christopher Michaud. Christopher Michaud. He just won a sluice box not that long ago. Wasn't it him? Yeah. I think it was. And he just won. What did he win? He's going to get a shirt, a mug, a gem bag, a decal, and a $75 gift card to thehippie.com. Awesome. Look at that. That's fantastic. And second place was? Heidi and Conan Prospecting. Heidi and Conan Prospecting came in second place. And what are they going to win? They're going to get a shirt. A gem bag, a decal, and a $50 gift card to thehippie.com. Woo! Ho, 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 ho. And who came in third? Third is Adventurous Dan. Adventurous Dan, yes. He came in, and it, it was amazing finish. Had me on edge. I'm all nerves. And he's going to get the same. A shirt, gem bag, decal, and $50 gift card to thehippie.com. That was fantastic. We thank everybody who uh, uh, is a member and bought a ship. I'm glad we did this without breaking a leg. <laughs> it was rough. But, but we'll fun. Go, it was a lot of fun. Um, and uh, we didn't... Uh, nobody uh, came down and watched saw us uh, <laughs> acting like pirates are. But now we're going to find a little bit of gold to put in the chest. So let's do that. We're hiding under a top because it's raining and we don't want to get soaked. We got the pirate ship races in just in time but i think it's just a passing shower so we're gonna sit under here and stay dry and then get some test pans in we want to get a few to test pan this area because uh well we did before so we kind of have an idea where we want to go so. i want some gold yeah so we're gonna let the shower pass you know there's just a little bit of light rain right now so we're prospecting we got one pan there, another pan right there, ready to go. Test pan this area because we're planning on coming back here tomorrow to set up the sluice. So we want to know where there's a line of gold. It's been a long day. We started at the crack of dawn this morning with a coffee and putting together pirate ships. <laughs> but it was all worth it. hard to see with the glare today but right there oh yeah I see that one but there's a bigger piece right there which isn't bad at all not a bad stop at least two pieces in there I'm gonna uh, 
wash it back again because I think there's more. I did it kind of quick. Four pieces, four specks. Not bad for a start. We got another pan ready to go. There we go, another pan. First one had four colors in it, which isn't too bad. That was the first one I dug. Hopefully this one will be better. It's nice to see 10 plus colors so you have a spot to sluice that's worthy. That's 10 plus colors per pan. There's a nice little speck right there. Oh yeah, I see it from way up there. Yeah. yeah. It's tough, there's glare, so. Right there. Right there. The glare. I'm gonna suck that up so I don't lose it. There's another piece right there. And there's a couple more around the top there. Oh yeah. I think my pan was actually better than yours. Yeah, it's all right. But it's pouring out again. <laughs> oh well, we're already wet anyways being in the river, so it's a little more water. Here we go with another pan. We moved a pretty good sized rock for this, so we're hoping that there's something good under it. Bring it over to the light. Yeah, I gotta bring it over to the light. Let me show you what I see so far. It's getting dark again. See a couple pieces right there. Can you point towards them? There's one there, oh, one yeah. above. Oh yeah, one right there. That's yeah. not a bad one. Another one there. Now let me go over in the light so I can. I can see one right there trying to get by. They carry arms now. All right. See up there? Well, I definitely see a few pieces one, right there. Yeah, three pieces right there, right? Yeah. Yeah. And there's four. And there's maybe more. Yeah, there'll be more on that black sand. It's hard to get the gold out of it. I'm just going to suck all that black sand up. Doing a repin, just in case there's some more in there. Take a quick look. This is one of those areas where the black sand is hard to get the gold out of. And the lighting is also bad, so it makes it hard. Got a couple of pieces over the top. Oh, there's one right there. Yeah, and there's one on this side. Right there. Oh, yeah. Right there. Small one, but we'll take them. Well, there's been gold in every pan, but it's fine. Uh, and that's what there is here. And fine gold can add up, but you got to get a lot of it per pan. Yeah. And we're closing in on it. Last pan had some bigger pieces, so um, we're trying to narrow it down. We plan on coming here tomorrow and set up the sluice box out there and uh, run a good area. So we're closing in. We're gonna do a couple more pans. Might have a snack here to hold over because it's getting late in the day. And uh, then we're gonna do a couple more pans. We'll be back.
Got a mine lab classifier in the works today. You can get them in our store at thehippie.com if you want to help support our channel and get one of the best classifiers you can really get. They really put some thought into that design. Oh, nice. See it right over there? Oh, yeah, right there. <laughs> Blake of the day. He's got a friend next to him, too. Yeah. That might be the pan of the day. We'll see. All I can see is the flake of the day, but there may be some more. I'll have to go over. Yeah. It. I see two of the flake of the day and one friend right there next to it. Yeah. I'll suck it up. The size is getting better. Now we just need some quantity. Here we go. This is going to be our last test pan for today. We'll see how it does, but we already have a pretty good area. There's enough colors for pan to stop back there tomorrow. Seeing something? Yeah, gold. Okay, that's good. It's always good to see gold. Not bad, I guess. Let's take a look. Right there. Oh, there's quite a bit. Oh, there's more over there. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Not a bad pan. Oh. We'll take it. That's the best pan of the day as far as quantity of colors. Size is pretty good. I don't think it was a flake of the day, but they were good size. Yeah, it's a sluiceable area. Show what we got for the day. Yeah, that's what we got. That's not bad. There's quite a few colors in there. I'm going out to the right. There's more to the top seal. Oh, look at there. all that. So, That's quite a bit. And some nice bigger ones yeah. there, too. Very good. We'll be back to Sluices tomorrow. Well, we found a little bit of gold today on top of everything else we did. And we test pan this area. We kind of have an idea where we want to... Uh, set up in sluice so that's great um, the clouds are coming in so we're going to pack up here and we're going to head back to camp let's go
we just got back to the camp. What a rainbow! Holy smokes, it was the brightest rainbow I, I've ever seen. You ever seen one that bright? No, that was amazing. It was, it, it, it was, look at that! That's like the rainbow. <laughs> My new shirt. I forget where this came from, I think. My mother, for your birthday. Oh, I got this for my birthday. Yeah. Marvin. Happy birthday. Tie-dye Marvin. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, it's the cold front with that rain came in. So we're going to want to build a fire probably inside the tent. And we're going to get ready uh, for our evening and cook something. So don't go away. Time for dinner. We've got things cut up. We've got some potatoes. We're going to be making some mashed potatoes. First of all, we're making um, <clears throat> camper's pie. Let's call it that. And we've got some uh, nonstick spray in the skillet. And we're starting with some peppers and onions. And we're going to put those in there. And we're going to uh, <clears throat> give them a head start. And we'll be back. All right, the peppers and onions are about halfway. So now we're going to add. Come on, ground beef to that. And we're going to break that up in there and brown that ground beef up with the peppers and onions. Now, I'm gonna get this going a little bit and then I'm gonna come back and season it. So we'll be back. All right, look at this beef. It's like halfway. That's the time we season. I'm gonna start with a little bit of Italian seasoning in here. I'm gonna put a little bit around there like that. I'd say it's about a teaspoon or so. A little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of sprinkle around there like that. A 
little bit of ground ginger. We're gonna put that in there too. Yeah, like hang like that. And a little bit of hip bee honey. About a tablespoon, maybe two. We're gonna drizzle that around there yeah, like that. I would say that's two tablespoons, huh? Like that. Now we're gonna mix that all together. Like so. And we're gonna let that cook for a little while. So everything is done. Potatoes are looking good, they're cooking, so everything's coming together. I had to take a layer off, and you can see my Marvin. The potatoes are done, they're coming off. I'm gonna drain them, and we're gonna take this off the heat as well, because that's done. And we're gonna put this together. We're gonna mash up these potatoes. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter, you know, like that. I'm gonna mash them up. Okay, here's what we do. We take some of this mixture, the ground beef, peppers and onions, Put it down the bottom there, like that. And we're gonna make a one over here too, a little baby one. and even add some corn this is kind of like a shepherd's pie but not really <laughs> it's a hippie campers it's a pie hippie campers pie Put them in the oven for about I don't know 30 minutes on whatever our oven is. It's about 225, 250. We're gonna probably get it up to about 300. Let's put it in. put another log in. Think we need another. And we'll be back. We'll check it in a little while. All right, here we go. He's going to swashbuckle it. <laughs> like my new mitt? Yeah, that's a great mitt. Mm -hmm. That's um, Troop 306 from Granby, Massachusetts. Yeah. Sent those. Our viewers are 
Just too kind. Oh, look at that. It's looking great just as it starts to brown. Yeah. I'm going to put that down there. That is hot. On some more. Oh, yeah, that's hot. Yeah, it's hot. How that top one look? Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's sliding back. It's starting to. <laughs> don't drop it. Might make. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, yeah. That looks great. Ooh, that's hot, even with a mirror. All right, we're going to let that cool for a moment. And then we'll be back and Tom will swashbuckle it up. 81 degrees in here. Toasty. It's, it's probably in the low 50s out, but we got a nice fire in our oven going. All right, look at that. On to it. Let's see how this looks. Look at this great coffee maker. It does great from Jefferson State Gold. Wow. Look at that. Camper's pie. It's a little messy. That's all right. <laughs> Real messy. Let's see. I can do better over here. Look at that. Mine came out perfect. Hmm. Well, there you have it. We're going to bring that over to the table, and we're going to try that out. Okay, we got to... I like to mix these around a little bit. Mix that all up together. It's still pretty hot, so... Like that. Now, some people put gravy on this, too. Well... We put honey. It's the maybe version. Yeah. Let's try it out. Is it hot? The potatoes. Mmm. Almost tastes like a meatloaf with corn and mashed potatoes. It's really good. It's hearty after a long day in the river. Ah! That'll stick to your ribs. That's pirate mm. food right there. <laughs> it is. We're going to eat that. And we'll be back. Arr! <laughs> <laughs> it's been too much fun today. <laughs> oh, boy. We cooled it down in here. It's down to about, uh, what are we at? 69 degrees. So the oven's still going. We just open and close the flaps and the vents to regulate the temperature. And congratulations to Christopher Mashad for coming in first place. One. Heidi and Conan for coming in second place. Mm. And Adventurous Dan for coming in third place. Now listen to this. After we had this race, we left the river and we had to go to the grocery store to pick up a few items before we came back here. And when we were at the grocery <laughs> store, a car pulls in next to us. Someone's waving at Someone's us. Someone's waving at us. <laughs> and I look over, and it's Adventurous Dan. And we didn't tell him. Nope. But little did he know that just uh, less than an hour before, I was screaming his name. <laughs> <laughs> it was so exciting. <laughs> we had a lot of fun out on the river. And uh, we thank everybody for who... Uh, is a member so if you want to get in on the next pirate ship race or whatever we do uh, make sure you uh, join and become a member and you will be included in that um, also you can hit that like button down there and hit the subscription those things really help us out and last but not least Visit thehipbee.com for some delicious honey, beehive products, prospecting equipment, and who knows, there's always going to be updating up there. We're hoping to get some hats and shirts soon. Maybe not these hats no. and this shirt. <laughs> <But> <laughs> All right. Arr, until next time. Peace. Arr.